Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie and today we are racing yet another storm. It is kind of really cold but a quite pretty day even though it is overcast. It's pretty because it's one of the last days it looks like in the next couple of weeks that we're going to be able to be outside doing anything. We've got several storms coming up. We're just barely starting to melt the snow from the last storm. We got probably a good two inches here and it was great. Now it's kind of odd in November to have snow not melt immediately or by the next day. So it's been a little bit cooler, I think, this November than normal. And it's also been very much wetter, which we really, really need. I live in Utah, which is technically zone seven, but we have a lot of zone six winters. And I normally figure the end of my gardening season, I should have everything cleaned up by Thanksgiving because after Thanksgiving is usually when the ground is frozen and we end up having snowstorms where the snow just sticks on the ground and doesn't leave for a while. So, Today is the day that I'm going to try to get my bulbs planted. Now, I am suffering the problem that most gardeners suffer, and that is having less property than I actually think I should have, and I end up ordering way more stuff than I need. Now, I'll show you some pictures of my bulbs that bloomed last year, and how many that I have. And I'm right now planting about 200 more, maybe a little bit more, probably right around 200 more, and I have 80 more coming. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the 80 that are coming planted in time before the ground freezes, but I at least wanted to get the ones in the ground that I have now. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to place them and talk to you a little bit about them. Now I'm extremely busy, like just about everybody, and I do not like to make more work than needs be. So I very rarely plant tulips. The only tulips that I really plant are the ones that will actually naturalize and come back year after year. I don't want ones that I'm going to have to dig up, you know, and that fade over time. So I got the perennial species tulip collection from Holland Bulb Farms, and it just had, I think, six different types of tulips, and there was 150 tulips in it. And all of these will come back year after year and will naturalize. So I'm going to plant four varieties on this side. Now this is on the side of my driveway and I think this will be really pretty right through here. I also got some hyacinths and I'm going to just be planting those on the corner. There are only 25 hyacinths in the bag and these were the ones that I got at Home Depot. Now I've planted Home Depot bulbs before and have had pretty good success. They're definitely not the top quality bulbs that you can get, but I've never really had any issues with them. So this is the area where I'm going to have some of my tulips and some hyacinths. And I'm going to plant some hyacinths on this side of my path, going up to my front door, and then bordering this side over here also. Now, each one of these bags contains about 10, you know, a little more, you know, maybe 10 to 12 to 14 bulbs in each bag except for this one. This one has 50 bulbs in it, so I'm going to spread this one throughout this area. So I'm just going to have this front sidewalk here bordered with these naturalizing tulips. I also got some daffodils from Home Depot, and heavens, heaven knows I didn't really need more daffodils, but I have them. So I'm going to put most of them through this center area. Now with my when I planted bulbs the last few years, I concentrated on either side of my property. So I, there's a ton over there. There's a ton over here in this bed. And then there's like two or three clumps through here. So these bulbs are just gonna be put in this area. So there's more, more daffodils in this area, in this middle section. This is a new bed, so I'm going to put several clumps of daffodils through here. And I like to plant my daffodils in either clumps of 10, you know, 5, 10, or 20, you know, just depending on where the area is. So these are going to be clumps of 5 because it's a little bit smaller area. Have not removed my zinnias yet, and I will probably do that. We're racing a rainstorm, so I'm going to see if we can get the, the planting done first and then see whatever else we can get done before the storm heads. So these are torn up a little bit. This is a daffodil all-in-one mix. There's a bunch of different daffodils blooming different times of the season. And then there's the papillion mix because I really like the, the, the wide, wider coronas. And then there's my high symbols. 
Now I don't have the planter attachments that go on a drill, so I just use a shovel. And what I like to do if I have several different bulbs to plant is I like to go dig the holes first, make them big enough for 10 bulbs or however many I'm going to put in there, throw in the fertilizer and then go plant the bulbs. So let's get digging first. Now there are many bulb planting videos, but this is what a tulip bulb looks like. This is the top where the leaves come out. This is the bottom where the roots are going to come out. So you just plant them about six inches down with the flat part at the bottom. And I'm not really careful about where I put them. I just try to make sure they all fit. And then I cover them all up, tamp it down. And now just a long wait until next year to see the show. There we go. The site is all planted up. Now, because I'm racing the storm, I'm not going to film the rest of it. It's all going to be basically the same. So I will get the rest of them planted and be back. Well, we got my planting done just in time for the rain to start. And for the approximately 20 to 30 holes that I dug, you can't see anything. So in planting bulbs, there's only one real downside, and that is the lack of immediate satisfaction. As I said, I dug about 20, between 20 and 30 holes, I quit counting, pretty deep holes, and planted all those bulbs, and it looks like I didn't do anything. It's delayed gratification. But I am excited to wait for next year, so that gives a lot of anticipation for next year, waiting for those bulbs to pop up and we get to see all the beauty. So I'm really glad that you were here to share this garden adventure. I'd love to hear what bulbs you're planting. Are you able to plant the regular tulips? Do you love planting those and then digging them back up? Or what do you do with your tulips? Do you leave them in the ground? And how many of you have planted the naturalizing tulips? I think they're really, really gorgeous. They're not the same as the normal tulips, they're not the same as the larger tulips, but they still are really, really pretty on their own. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has been helpful, I hope you like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and go have a wonderful garden adventure.